Yeah, and uh, Underdog, thank you for the comment. So that's that's a valuable comment, uh, to burn the ISO as slow as possible. That goes without, uh, it should go without saying. I'll just tell you that anytime you're burning uh, a disk of any type, if it's an audio CD, a data CD, especially if it's a backup of your data, like uh, you want to burn that at the slowest speed possible. These days, uh, and certainly, you know, back five years ago, it was this big boom of creating the fastest possible optical burning drives. Uh, but the faster that you get, it seems the, the less uh, efficient it is. Uh, so even with a fast drive, like even if your drive is able to burn at 52 times or, or faster or some crazy number like that, uh, you just want to burn at one or two or whatever the lowest number is that you have access to. And I learned that when I was uh, producing music uh, back in the early days of, of working in the studio where uh, I was surprised to find that in the studio they always burned at one times uh, burning. Um, so I said, well, what's with that? You've got a 16 times burner at that time. Uh, but it just has to do with the integrity of the disk. So if you're having trouble, give that a try as well.